Howdy, it's Jim Morado, and this is late March 2023. We're in Southern Ohio. Right now we're in West Union, Ohio. In fact, most of this video is just going to be us driving through West Union on a very windy day. Yeah, and just, just to give you an example of how windy it was, we stopped at that gas station to get gas. And I, th I think the little awning area that covers the gas pumps kind of created a wind tunnel. And you, you could see the doors to the gas station kind of flying open. Um, I ended up not being able to get gas there. It uh, I was having trouble opening my door, and then even when I got out, uh, things were blowing around so bad, we just decided to eh, get gas a little later. But yeah, it was a very windy day. Luckily, check out those skies. The skies look great. And this is just a great town and a great area. We would uh, kind of zigzag, mostly around West Union. We were in Peebles a lot. And like I said, we're gonna kind of end up in Seaman before this is over. Uh, just, just a, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 miles up the road. But this was just a great area to drive around. And they've got their kind of main town area here, and then here in a moment, we're going to be kind of in their, I guess you might say, kind of a historic or older downtown area. And uh, and that was pretty cool. Um, it's a restaurant there, or I guess kind of an uh, old school tavern kind of place that looked really neat. And apparently is one of the oldest in Ohio. And, and we'll get to that here in a moment, but I just looked it up. And it is the Old Wayside Inn, Ohio's oldest standing inn still in use, West Union, Ohio. And let's see, built 1804. I'm not sure, not sure how they measure that up. I know that uh, the Golden Lamb in Lebanon, actually not that far from here, uh, has some claim about being one of the oldest inns in Ohio too. So I need to need to do some homework and figure yeah there it is right there on the left I need to figure out which one is actually the oldest I'm sure there's some sort of you know continuously operating clause or something like that that uh, factors in yeah here's okay yeah there's a little uh, little information about it there on that historic marker just a really pretty downtown area here too I know there's also a drug store there's a couple of them in the area where they still have a um, kind of old school soft drink counter and I think I think you can get a coke for five cents at either of them I'm sure surely it must be a small but uh, I was hoping to get into one of them just just for bragging rights that's looking inside of that old inn it was not open while we were there I did see somebody working in there but I didn't want to be too intrusive but they were closed yeah old wayside inn I think they're closed on Saturdays or something. Their, their hours were a little inconvenient for a tourist like myself traveling mostly on the weekends. But I, I definitely want to go back there and have a meal at some point just to say I've been there. But that uh, that was pretty cool. Yeah, nice old, uh, I assume maybe courthouse government building there in the middle of town. And there's one of those drugstores. We're going by one of those drugstores I mentioned earlier. And there's a cool mural up here on the right. Yeah, that that's that's really nice. I was hoping to come back and get a better photo of that, but uh, we ended up not coming back through here. We did we stayed at the Murfin Ridge Inn, which is uh, pretty much you know right right here in this area. It is a really nice bed and breakfast, very upscale, very classy. And they are going for kind of uh, definitely a country Amish kind of theme. And they definitely pull it off. Had some great food. I'll put up another video about that. And th this is a very Amish area too, as I mentioned. Oh, another shot of the drugstore there on the corner. Uh, very Amish area. We didn't see any horse and buggies, but we did go to a couple of shops that were Amish operated. And we saw a lot of, a lot of Amish uh, there. Uh, several Amish not too far from our bed and breakfast we stayed at. Also in Peebles, in Peebles we stay, we um, stopped at a really nice coffee shop, the Green Beanery. I'll put up a, a video about them 
here soon too. And by the way, I think we just passed a house a moment ago. They still had their Krampus out. Uh, Krampus uh, people people sometimes put their Krampuses out at Halloween, and then they're still appropriate at Christmas. And some people think they're appropriate in April also. And I won't. Uh, I'm not going to make fun of them because I love Krampus. And we, we went to the Serpent Mound also. I'll put up a video about that. And we stopped at, I believe this was Yoder's. I think this shop is in Seaman. And it's just uh, kind of a nice, you know, bulk food, furniture, place to get a nice little snack kind of place. Very Amish. And we enjoyed stopping here. Always, uh... Always get something when you're when you stop in these little Amish areas. And since this video is almost at the end, I'm going to leave you with the wind chimes uh, on the front of this store. So check this out. <laughs>